Alright, so intermediate code and virtual machines. Intermediate code is more efficient since the compilers, or the interpreters, only translates the code to a halfway stage. Although intermediate code cannot run without further translation, it provides a standard form, a right, standard form, of code for translation to machine code, which means that a high-level language can be translated to intermediate code. An example of this would be using the translator to provide, which is provided by the creator of a high-level language. Uh, then the intermediate code that is created can be translated in mach into machine code, which would be the the translator would be provided by the creator of the particular processor architecture. Now the advantages and disadvantages of using an interpreter interpreted code is that the advantages are that it the programs can be easily tested as the whole program does doesn't need to be recompiled after changing the source code. It's easier to correct so that uh, if you during your testing, if you, if it finds an error, the error is reported as the event occurs rather than just in one big report at the end. It uses less memory as only the object code from a single line of source code is held in the memory at any one time. It can be restarted from any point when an error has been corrected. Breakpoints can be inserted into the code to halt operations. Uh, display values currently held in variables uh, can be run on any operating system with an interpreter installed. So that's just basically the main things of using an interpreter. So then the disadvantages though of the intermediate code is that the source code requires the source code is required since it does not produce the object code. It runs slower than executable code since it has to be translate each time it needs to be translated each time it is run. Uh, this diagram uh, says like since intermediate code creates the intermediate code, the compilers do not. So the compiler is straight from the source code to the object code. The interpreter is source code, intermediate code, then op object code. Well then, so for the virtual machine, the virtual machine can run the code since this allows the virtual machine allows the code to run faster than interpreted code, which allows the code to be run uh, across multiple platforms in ways which it couldn't have if it was compiled fully into the machine code, as that is the compiler compiles it into the specific source code, uh, machine code, I mean, for the processor type. As machine code is an, is an architect, as machine code is architecture specific, whereas intermediate code can be translated to machine code just in time by the virtual machine, so just in time, so that's just when it's needed, it can be translated. So using a virtual machine means a software that is simulated or emulated of a physical computer. Uh, you can do that yourself, uh, things like uh, Windows Virtual Machine or something, you can get that, or you can download a VMware, which is Virtual Machineware, just VMware. Uh, a virtual machine refers to a hypothetical generalized computer capable of running any program it is given. Bear in mind, know that the computer that the virtual machine is running on has to have the, well, doesn't, it needs to have at least, it needs to be a computer that it runs on, which has good amount of processing power and stuff. It's just a way of saying that intermediate code can be run on any platform which improves the portability of the code.